On the last Sunday of each liturgical year, the Church celebrates the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of Universe, or Christ the King. The last Sunday before Advent, it is a relatively new feast that Pope Pius XI added to the liturgical calendar in 1925. Hey friends, I'm Little Lamb of Jesus, and today we will be learning some new facts about Feast of Christ the King. Yay! Before getting to know some new points, please like, subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Number 1. Why do we celebrate Christ the King Feast? This feast celebrates the Christ messianic kingship and sovereign rule all over the creation. Wow! Number 2. What is the meaning of Christ the King? Christ the King is one of the most important titles of Jesus. Even though Jesus Christ was not a king in the earthly sense, he is the divine king of the universe who unites all of creation with the Father. Amazing! Number 3. What is the significance of Christ the King in relation to Edmund? It solemnly honors Christ under the title of King. Bringing fittingly close to the church liturgical year and promptly opening a new liturgical year with the commencement of Advent on the first succeeding Sunday. Number 4. What is the meaning of the celebration of the Christ the King? We love Jesus in our personal lives, but we shrink from acknowledging the kingship of Christ in social life. When we celebrate the solemnity of Christ the King, we declare to the world and remind ourselves that Jesus is my Lord, the Lord of the Church and of the entire universe. Wow! Number 5. What we learn from Christ the King Feast this feast reminds us that in the end, we belong to one home or the other, one Lord or another. Finally, to say that Christ is our King reminds us that all our power, strength, hope, and direction come from Him. Through Him, in Him, and with Him, the skills and talents we possess are from the King who made us, indeed. Number 6. What is the reflection of the Feast of the Christ the King? There are two themes resonating through this great feast. One, the end of time and the final judgment. And two, the reign of Jesus Christ as King of the universe. Number seven, what life messages does Christ the King feast teaches us? Today's feast of Christ the King reminds us of the great truth that Christ must be in charge of our lives that we must give Him sovereign power over our bodies, our thoughts, our heart, and our will. Christ our King lived not by brute force, like earthly, but by caring for others who needed Him. Christ's power is not one of the might, but one of the love. He is our Lord and our Shepherd, and because of Him, we shall not want. So friends, this was all about Christ the King Feast. I hope that we learned something new prayer for the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe. Let us pray together. O Lord our God, you alone are the most holy King and ruler of all nations. We pray to you, Lord, in the great expectations of receiving from you. O Divine King, mercy, peace, justice, and all good things. Amen. See you next time. Bye!